Hi, my name is Elena Fragamini. I'm reporting for the transcript. I'm here at First Churches in Northampton at a Jill Stein event. So do you support Jill Stein? For president? No, I do not. Why? Uh, I organize uh, for Bernie Sanders during the primary. Uh, and I believe in Bernie's message and I think that you know, at the end of the day, either Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton are going to become the next president. Were you a Bernie Sanders supporter before yes, that? absolutely. I was a Bernie Sanders supporter um, with the realization that eventually Bernie was going to lose and that Jill would be the logical leap for most Bernie supporters. It stuns me that anyone would make the leap from Hillary, I mean, from Bernie to Hillary, which is like the Grand Canyon, when the leap from Bernie to Jill is like a crack in the sidewalk. It makes no sense to me, but people are fearful. of. You know, in terms of me myself, you know, it's like American democracy and the country of America was not created uh, to be run by businessmen. It was not created to be um, run by experts. We were created to be a democracy, everyday people. The experience I do not have to bring to office is the experience of taking money from big, powerful special interests and then delivering for them while in office. Uh, my experience is actually working with the people of the Massachusetts and the people of the country to do the um, things that we as citizens have been working to do, to get money out of politics. We passed public financing here in Massachusetts. It was repealed by the Democratic legislature, but we the people passed it. Uh, we cleaned up our coal plants. We shut down some of our polluting incinerators, and we created a more racially just system of representation in the legislature. So we can get stuff done when it's we the people without the lobbyists and the machine politics. This is the kind of solution that the American people are actually clamoring for. So thank you for being a part of, of the effort to get the thank word you so much. out. Is there anything else you want to tell the students of Northampton High School? Oh, I'd say just, you know, you guys have the power and don't for a minute let them tell you otherwise. There are 43 million millennials who are locked in debt. Young people have the power. If we get the word out, we can cancel the debt and make public higher education free and ensure that you have a job on the other end. Remember, you've got the numbers, you've got the vision, you've got the power. Get the word out, come out and vote, and don't let them intimidate you into throwing your, your vote away with more of a failed two-party corporate system. Invest your vote in the future that we deserve, a peaceful, just, green, sustainable future that is within our reach the minute we stand up for it. Thank you so much.